Here is a iPhone SE third edition. This will also work for the iPhone SE first edition and second edition as well. I'm going to show you how to transfer the photos and videos directly from the iPhone to any Chromebook using the charging cable and nothing to do with the Google Drive or Google Cloud. It's going to be directly downloaded to the Chromebook's hard drive. Now the first thing I want to mention is um, with the iPhone SE third edition, the charging cable that you get is a USB-C to a lightning, a lightning uh, cable here or lightning connector as you can see right there. Okay, The thing is you have to have a USB-C port or Thunderbolt port to use this cable on your Chromebook. Okay, So for myself I do have a USB-C port right here but for, for those of you that guys that don't have a USB-C port you can always get one of these inexpensive adapters. It's a USB-C to USB-A. You can just pop that in there like that and then use this USB-A to plug into your USB port like that. Or you can go ahead and just get, maybe you have one of these laying around, just a USB-A to a lightning port right here as well. Okay, These different connectors, cables and adapters I'll have below uh, in the description area below. Okay, So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and use it like this. I use the adapter here. I use my usb a here, so let me go ahead and plug this in to my USB port. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in here. Let me just close this window right here. And now let me go ahead and grab my iPhone here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. And now we should get a message, and there it is. It says allow this device to access photos and videos you're going to click on allow and as soon as we do that this window here this is the my files folder window that opens up that's what the icon here looks like all right so now i can put down the phone and let's look over here now let me just zoom in a little bit over here and then so let me just get rid of that let me just click over here in the middle of the screen and now if we look in the left pane here now we can see down here it says Apple iPhone. Under that is DCIM folder. Okay, when you take your photos and videos, that's where your photos and videos get saved to. DCIM folder. Okay, so let me click on that, and I only have one folder here. You may have tons of them. Okay, so let me double click this folder up here, and I, I don't have that many photos or videos in here, as you can see here. Okay, now I know that they're like photos. If it has a JPG or a uh, PNG extension, I know that they're video or movie files. If it has a .mov extension, all right. So now remember, now this is not a Windows computer. So you guys are probably on here. You know, uh, here's a JPEG. Here's a photo here. Uh, you know, if you're trying to drag and drop it to your desktop, as soon as you let go, it's going to swing right back down. What we need to do is this: look on the left pane here. Now you see my files. Now everything in my files and underneath it, that is your hard drive. Okay. So you can see you guys should have a downloads folder on there. All the stuff that's in your downloads, that's all the stuff that saves your hard drive. And I got another folder there called A53. But let me do this. Let me make a new folder um, called for my um, Apple iPhone SE. All right, so I'm going to go to my files here. I'm going to make a new folder. And I, I'll just call this one SE right there. Okay, so you see that folder called SE. Now all I got to do is this. This is my hard, uh, my hard drive. Now I got to drag and drop whatever photos and videos I want into that folder called SE. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do everything. I'll highlight all of it, and I'm going to drag and drop all of it into that new folder I called SE. I'm going to drag it right there. Drop it at 25 items, and then we should see something down here where it says copying. And we can see it says copying 25, 29% complete. So we'll wait till that, wait till this is done transferring. Okay, so it's just about done. It says copy to SE. Okay, now we can go ahead and grab our iPhone. We can unplug it. And now if we go back to the SE folder, that's everything on our hard drive. So if I go ahead and click on that folder called SE right there, and here's all my photos and videos that are on the hard drive of this Chromebook. And let me go ahead and open up a picture, or I'll open, I'll open up a video video file here. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Anyway, there you guys go. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck, guys.